welcome back to Speak Your Bold Truth. I'm Kim Boudreaux Smith, speaker and leadership coach for women. I am talking this week about authenticity. It's an A word that is thrown around like, gosh, it's like sneezing. It is like clearing your throat. Authenticity, authentic, that A word. And I want to, I, I really want to get real nice and beautifully deep with this word today is, first of all, seeking for your authentic voice, your true self, so that you can become vulnerable and really transparent. Ladies, I'm going to tell you, it's not like hopping in the car and going shopping. You cannot buy this. You have an authentic voice, and a true self. You also have the key to being transparent. And then, of course, my favorite, Brene Brown, that vulnerability piece. I I feel like saying it's authenticity, transparency, and vulnerability. Oh, my. You know, lion, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. We have this. But the reason why we are seeking or searching for this is because we are hiding behind a multitude of things. Okay, well, Kim, what things are those? Well, first of all, the OPOs, other people's opinions. We hide behind our own selves when we are very concerned about other people's opinions. So of course, we're going to search for our true authentic voice and our true selves. We're living on other people's opinions based upon what other people are freaking judging us on and what their personal opinions are of what other people should, oh, there's that should word, should be saying, doing, sitting, looking, um, saying, all that stuff. Drop the other people's opinions because quite frankly, they're none of our freaking business. Now, another thing, besides the other people's opinions, we've got societal, the societal norms or what society says, which can be part of other people's opinions, but society says you are to be a good girl and do not speak up. Um, And you know, and damn, don't ruffle those feathers because then you're gonna look like a B-I-T-C bitch, bitch. (laughs) It's not true. It's not true. You know, society says we are to raise our children this way. Society says we're supposed to do this things certain ways. When we buy into that box, we become sheeples. Like we're following the herds of sheep, the herds of the cattle. We follow instead of standing out. And one of the biggest places I see that is on social media. Oh, I'm supposed to have this perfect background. And and if I don't look completely perfect, I can't turn my camera on. Oh, these videos that I put out there for social media, I'm going to take 20 freaking takes. So I look so picture perfect. Or I have to post a certain way because the, so to speak, experts on social media say you're supposed to post this way, be consistent, do this, or else you'll never get business. Okay, now I want you to know everything I just said is a crock of BS. You need to find for yourself what's going to work for you and your ideal client. And if you don't know who your ideal client is, and I mean intimately who your ideal client is, Yes, you will be chasing. Hence, now that is a segue leading into, of course, the imposter syndrome. You will never, ever find authenticity if you are hiding imposter behind imposter syndrome. Oh my gosh, I I can't speak up in this meeting. I haven't been here long enough. I'm the youngest one. Oh, I don't have enough credentials. Um, Oh God, I'm trying to figure out how to show up. Let me see. Oh, I can't go in there and speak to corporate. I haven't been in corporate in over 20 years or I don't have enough degrees or I'm not smart enough or all that stuff 
that imposter syndrome loves to numb and dumb us down. The other thing that if you are in search of the authenticity of your beautiful self and your beautiful voice is chipping away with that good old inner critic, you know, that hag in the attic. And yes, if you know me well, I refer to her as the hag in the attic. She's controlling us and dominating us. She is the conductor of the orchestra. All those other things, OPOs, self-worth, lack of confidence, esteem, imposter syndrome, all those are sitting in the chairs of her orchestra. And we allow her, we give her free reign to run our lives. Hence, we seek for that inner peace, that authenticity. We want to be transparent and we want to be bold. I hear so many women come to me and say, Kim, you are so brave. You are so courageous for being so raw and real. Well, I'm like, bold, brave, courageous. Really, there is no other way. I'm not afraid to ask for help. I'm not afraid to ask. I'm also not afraid to ask, even if I am unclear to say, okay, I'm unclear right now. This is what I may be feeling. And this is where I'm trying to get help. SOS, white flag help. I'm not afraid to show you that my videos are not perfect. And I don't always speak top notch. I'm a human being. I have my days where I wake up and I'm tripping over my words. I get that. And by the way, my videos that you see out there on social media, let me lean into my microphone, are one take, one, one. I don't redo and redo and redo. I want you to see me as me. So as you're continuing to go out there and search to be brave and to be bold and to find yourself, okay, go look in the mirror. Take a long, hard look in the mirror. You are there. And listen, I don't want to sound like I'm the Nike commercial and just do it, damn it. I don't want you to just do it. And the other thing is suck it up, buttercup. Please don't suck it up, buttercup. Feel all those sensations, but get them out of your head and into your beautiful body and show up like you. Instead of being on the search for authenticity, transparency, and vulnerability, just be, sister. There's no doing in this. There's no class in this. There's no store. Trust me, if there was a store, I'd be shopping at the store. There is no store in buying this. So if there's any area that you are holding back, you are hiding. And it's so important you get your story out there. You show your face so you can be seen and heard. Visibility. But when you hide, we cannot see nor hear you. Your light will dim. Authenticity, transparency, and vulnerability. Please show me you. I want to see you. I want to feel you. And I want to hear you. Thank you for tuning in for another Speak Your Bold Truth podcast. And if this resonates to you, please reach out. Let's have a dialogue. And if you know of anyone else that could benefit from this message, love is sharing. I appreciate it. Make it a great, bold day. And hear you and see you next week. Mm -hmm.